Hi. So I'm not going to lie, if you exercise, whether it's calisthenics, weightlifting, or some kind of sport, you're going to get injured at some point. It happens, but you've had injuries before. I'm sure that you've gotten a bruise, scrape, twisted ankle, or exercise so much that your muscles hurt, right? What I want to do with the next few videos is to talk about different ways that we can get injured so that we know what to do about it, whether it's just to leave it alone, or maybe put some ice on it, or if it's serious, get some medical help. Before I start, remember, I'm not a doctor, and odds are, you're not either. If you're facing a serious injury, either on your body or on someone else's, call 911 or get whatever professional help is nearby. Okay, now we're going to discuss three types of injuries that are common to exercising. Contusions, sprains, and strains. A contusion is also called a bruise. You get bruises from some sort of impact or pressure. It could be from falling, or getting hit by something, or someone. A contusion damages the skin and possibly the muscle underneath. Within these tissues, blood vessels can become damaged so blood can't get to where it needs to go. The result may be pain, discoloring of the skin, and perhaps some swelling. I'm pretty sure you've had a contusion before, but if there's a lot of pain involved or if the area becomes very discolored or swollen, look for medical help. Now, the next one people tend to get confused with strains. A sprain is an injury to the ligaments of a joint. As you may know from earlier in my video series, your ligaments are tough pieces of connective tissue that attach your bones together. If a joint moves in an unexpected way or further than it can tolerate, you're probably going to get a sprain, which is a stretching or tearing of a ligament. When you get a sprain, there will be varying amounts of pain, swelling, bruising, and even a popping sound. If there's a lot of pain, bruising, or swelling, get medical help. A common example of this is rolling your ankle, or maybe bending a finger back when not properly catching a basketball. In Judo and Jiu Jitsu, the armbar skill intentionally targets the ligaments of the elbow. The last type of injury that I'm going to cover today is called a strain. Yep, it sounds like a sprain, but the difference is that this damage is to muscles or to the tendons that attach muscles to bones. It happens when the part is unexpectedly overstretched by accident or if the muscle or tendon is overworked or torn. Again, I'll bet that you've had muscle strains before. They're very common in the lower back and in the hamstrings, but they can occur anywhere. Once again, be on the lookout for pain, swelling, and even discoloration. And as always, if it looks serious, get medical help. Okay, next time I'm going to learn about cuts, scrapes, and fractures. I'll see you then. Can we talk about games for a second? So, if you play action games, especially first-person view games, your character usually has a hit point or health score. As long as your hit points stay above zero, you're fine. That's right, you can just walk that off. Some people talk about how violence in video games makes people desensitized to violence. And from this point of view, I get it. Eh, don't get me wrong. I like video games, and I don't think that video games make you violent. But I've played games that have more realistic injury systems, and it's a fun challenge. When your character can bleed out or get a broken leg, it makes the game much more difficult and immersive. And what's up with first aid kits? You get blasted by a shotgun, pick up a health kit, and you're healed? You're good to go? <laughs> nope. I've played games where a character was shot and died from an infection three days later because the wound wasn't clean. So why am I telling you this? I just wanted to point out that being educated lets you apply what you've learned in interesting ways, like maybe making video games. So hopefully one of you will design a game with an interesting injury system, huh? Thanks, I appreciate it.